Good afternoon. My name is Yevan. I am a accredited solar installer with Energy Base, and this is a SunGrow crystal inverter. So I'm just going to show you the procedure of shutting it down, and then also on how you reinstate power. So typically on the inverter, you'll see a shutdown procedure. So by shutting it down, you basically just follow those two steps. It is essential you follow the steps in that order. Step one says, turn off the main switch or inverter supply or AC isolator. So in this instance, if it's so close to your point of supply, your switchboard, you don't require AC isolator. So you will just then isolate the circuit breaker. So you go to where you find main switch inverter supply this one says main switch inverter supply switch that off and then what would happen is that you'd see that this light is going to start flashing so now you go to step two turn off the pv array dc isolator located at the inverter in this instance we've got two you can read there pv array dc isolator these two are exactly the same so you just switch these two off and now you will see that eventually after a few seconds that light will completely go out as well as all that's displayed on this digital screen will go off and these three lights on the bottom of this dongle will also go off so once that's happened you know that it is fully isolated so we'll just wait for it to just run down and it'll come up with all sorts of errors while it is shutting down and there you go so now this inverter is completely shut down so now to reinstate the power again right at the bottom here of the shutdown procedure it says the startup procedure is the reverse of the shutdown procedure so in effect what you do is you just backtrack your steps so the last thing we've done was that we've oscillated this so you switch these two DC oscillators back on once they are switched back on, you then go and you switch on the main switch inverter supply, which we isolated first. So we switch that on. Now what happens is the inverter will now reconnect to the grid, but that is only established after 60 seconds. So you're going to have to wait for 60 seconds while it goes through a startup process. You'll see some lights flashing. And eventually all these three lights will be back up and running again after an extended period of time but basically you will know that it is connected once this flashing red light becomes a solid green light so as i said it will take 60 seconds before that is achieved so all you need to do is just be patient while it's going through the process right now it's just conducting an internal check it's conducting a insulation test just to make sure that the integrity of the insulation is perfect and then it will start up so now it shows at the bottom here at some stage it will say start up in process in my progress status start up so it's starting up so now you just wait it out See there the three lights on this dongle is all back up now and the first one the blue one is just the indicator that the inverter is running the second one shows the the communication you see you hear the clicking there so that's just conducting some of the final checks so the green light is just the communication output of the wi-fi dongle from the inverter and the one that says net means that the wi-fi network of the house is being picked up here a little bit more clicking that's perfectly normal and there we go so now we've got a solid state green light there which means that the inverter is now connected and it is actually running so there you go thank you for your time <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>